Hi everybody, welcome. I'm Soraya. So I have this painting, it's already completed. It's actually even posted. I have a video on this on my channel. I'll leave a link to it in the description area. So because I liked it so much, I thought that I would try and do something similar again. I love the color palette to it, the light blues and whites and black. So I thought I'd try and do it again, but do something a little different. So let's see what happens. So the first thing I wanted to show you was the consistency of the paint. You can see that it's runny. It leaves a little mound and disappears right away. And that is the case for all the paints I used. So you can see as I start to tilt how easily the paint moves on the canvas. I did not have anything on the canvas, it was just plain canvas, no water, nothing on it. So I actually thought it was quite a lovely abstract but not what I had intended for that day and that's why I took out my hair dryer. Once I was finished with that, I decided to tilt it again to see what would happen. At this point, I thought it was pretty good, but I took out my hair dryer just to get it to where I was thinking. So I thought it was really good at this point, but for some reason I decided to add a little bit more color there um, at that kind of horizon line and I think I messed it up from that point on. So unfortunately, the more I worked on it, the more I didn't like it. And sometimes that happens, but it is just paint and I had plenty of it. So I decided to start all over again. I left that bottom portion there because I thought that looked really great on its own and I wanted to work with it. I sing next. Love is all that I can give to you. Love is more than just a game for two. Two in love can make it. Take my heart and please don't break it. Love was made for me and you. So you see, even when you think that you've messed up, there's always a new technique or something that you can do to change it up to get it to where you want it to be. I went through the whole process all over again until I got to a point where I really liked it again. Okay, 
that took a little bit of time to get to, um, but I do love what I'm seeing. This is beautiful. And I love this empty space here. Maybe a tree will go right in there. And I had to blow up the sky. I just didn't like the way it was looking. So I'm happy with that now. And it looks very interesting over here as well. So I'm gonna let it dry and uh, I'll see you back here in just one second. So that took a couple of days to tr dry. And then I turned it upside down because I had this idea to um, make some kind of abstract trees. And that's what I'm doing here now. I'm just dabbing some blue along the bottom of the canvas and spritzing it. So it doesn't look like much now, but then when I turned it back to the original position, you could see that these uh, lines very much look like tree trunks. By the way, I'm spritzing it with water, just plain old water. Well, I was really happy with the way it was looking and um, in retrospect, I should have just left it the way it was. I was trying to kind of make it look like there would be some water there. And it just didn't quite work. You'll see that I fix it. removing some of the lines that had gone kind of through those rock areas. After that I just took my brush and uh, on those trunks just added a few branches. So you can see how that simple technique really creates these abstracted trees. Uh, it looks very much like a bleak winter scene and that's what I was going for. Be sure to check out these great videos.